Okay, <coughs> here's the uh, lime orange. I've uh, cleaned it up, and it's come up very nice indeed. I have to say, um, there were a couple of problems with the boiler once I got into it. Um, there was a hole on the curve of the bottom part of the boiler here, quite a large one. So that that is a patch, that bottom bit of copper that you can see there. And this dummy whistle here needed to be resoldered into the boiler, which has been done. Uh, I put water in the boiler; it doesn't leak, so hopefully we're good to go. Um, but uh, yeah, I, I think I think it actually looks quite nice. Um, it's quite uh, quite uh, remarkable, really. There's almost apart from the screw which holds the uh, cylinder to, the, to this engine plate here. There are no nuts and bolts or screws in this at all. Everything is held together with little uh, folded over tabs. Um, and despite the fact that this is extremely cheap metal, there's a really flimsy tin plate type uh, metal here. And obviously the, the boiler's stamped out some really thin copper sheet, two halves and that. Um, compared to, say, the construction of a Bowman or an Empire, th this is, you know, quality-wise, this is, um, you know, quite poor, really. It's even got plastic end to the uh, conrod and a plastic pulley here. But... Despite that, there is something about this this little engine which I really like, and, and I'm, I'm certainly going to uh, attempt to get some more of these uh, line mar engines. Um, but yeah, it's come up really nicely. And I managed to get most of the black marks off. Um, so uh, yeah, right. Well, the next thing is let's see if it works. Okay, here we are back with the uh, line mar little model steam engine um, sadly I was not able to save the boiler um, I repaired what I thought was the major leak uh, on one end of the boiler uh, and unfortunately when I had a closer examination of the boiler what I thought were little black dots which were dirt on it turned out to be tiny little pinprick holes and it was covered in them all over it was almost more like a sieve than, <laughs> than a boiler so I've had to um, make another boiler for it now fortunately the diameter of the original was about one and a half inches so that's nice because you can get copper pipe in one and a half inches which is what this is it's just a nice short piece of copper pipe with some end plates soldered on so fairly simple the, the boiler is a fairly simple construction and um, the the whistle turned out to have the same thread as a mammoth whistle so i've used a mammoth uh, boiler insert there and I made a boiler insert for the for the feed for the feed pipe and then just soldered the whistle dummy whistle back in so um it I'm quite pleased with the result actually it looks very similar to the to the original obviously it doesn't have the flanges down the side but um at least this one doesn't leak <laughs> so uh, so there we go uh, a bit of a shame but uh, it's uh, you know the the important thing is to get the, to get it running so um let's try steaming it up Well, I think we're ready to go. Oh yes, definitely. Oh, very impressive. <laughs> it's been a while. Vibrate around all over the place, unfortunately. Which is quite impressive when you consider that the heater is simply that. Oh, my new boiler seems to be performing correctly, which is excellent. It does rattle and make a lot of noise, mainly because everything is so sloppy. This is only fixed down with little tabs, so... <laughs> I don't think I've ever had a steam engine which makes a noise like that before. Let's <laughs> stick this back in. Oh, what a racket. But the important thing is it actually works, so... <laughs> Oh, 
So that's more like a steam engine noise. Japanese steam engine. Back to life. Well, I hope you enjoyed the journey with the lawnmower, and uh, thank you very much for watching.